Alright guys, welcome back to your... Ugh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It is your girl Litas on TV with Litas. I know it's been a decade or something, but I am back. To all those that have been here, welcome back, my loves. Share this video to a girl that might need it. Because in this video, we will be sharing points. I have got a whole list of points that I think are important for all my pageant girlies. So it is a guide to pageants from a beginner beauty queen. So all of you must know that I am the reigning Miss Teen Humanitarian Zambia 2023, which was my first pageant. So these are lessons that I've learned from that very pageant. And I will be sure to come and share more lessons when I do more pageants. Otherwise, I have seen what I need to see for now and I will share these few tips with you just so you can bring yourself up the list a quarter and a half. Now let's dive into the video. Point number one on my guide to pageants is know that it is what you want to do. Many people will be influenced to go into a pageant because no, my family said I look good and I should do pageants. My friends say it is the best thing for me. Oh no, I just want to do pageants because everybody is doing pageants. Girl, no. Make sure that pageants are something that you want to do because a pageant is a major investment. You don't want to lose that much of an investment on something that you don't really want to do. For me, I have always wanted to do pageants and if you were from my reel on any social media platform, you know that because I made it so clear. So I've always wanted to do pageants and honestly, I had no problem doing a pageant because it was what I was passionate about. So make sure a pageant is something that you want to do. Do not be influenced to go into pageants because everybody is doing pageants or because someone has asked you to do a pageant. Make sure it's from your heart. Tima. Make sure it's coming from you. Tima. Alright, girlie? Yeah. The next thing you're going to want to do when joining a pageant is checking your fans. I went into pageants like I was straight out of a New York film and um honestly one thing i'll tell you about pageants is that they really do crack the bank they take up as many pennies as they want and they do not care i mentioned before that pageants are a major investment and the major majorly applies to fans there's so much money you're going to put into a pageant so do not be lied to to say when i get there i'm going to sort it out luckily for me my family was able to sponsor me if you're able to get sponsors get a sponsor otherwise make sure your fans are in check for any pageant because you know the last thing you want is to withdraw from a pageant because you didn't have fans it becomes very discouraging and very unfortunate so before you dive in, check your fans. If you're being sponsored by family, talk to your family before you do the pageant. Do not be like me. I got up one morning, sat the whole morning reminiscing about how I'm going to sign up for a pageant. And when it was night time, I had already paid to be in the pageant and then told my family two days later. The third thing you should do when you join a pageant is join an academy i think this should also be at number one it should also be at number two as much as it is at number three because if you're going to tell yourself i'm going to train myself from home pageant planet is not going to teach you how to walk or etiquette for a pageant pageant gossip won't give you all the educate that you need or education that you need quite all right it is great to go onto youtube and do a self-learned lesson but i will tell you you should join an academy it is the best thing for you and it is also a great investment 
no matter how pricey it is always know that the investment is always worth it it is worth it all the time an academy i would recommend for you is zambia model academy that is their instagram and facebook contact them their coach is maria chikula she'll be so happy to have you and she is the best coach in the industry personally if you ask me number four is do your research pageants differ a pageant will not be the same as the next pageants are looking for different things it's one thing they're looking for a great platform to make change but always do your research on what pageant you're going to be doing don't think don't just jump in and simply be a free sailing john always do your research on what pageant you're going to be doing this has a major impact on what your platform is going to be which plays a major role in your pageant scores and how good of a character you build for yourself so do your research if it's a humanitarian platform check on what humanitarian causes are really major or at the top of the list right now and need grave attention or maybe look at platform or sorry causes that receive very little attention but are major if it's a feminist platform look at feminine causes feminist causes that are given zero to no attention no to yeah little to no attention and you know do your research it's a pageant you need to build character the next thing i'm going to say is be authentic one thing you are not going to want to do is fake your character because by the time you are getting to the crown and being crowned queen you're going to mess it up for yourself be authentic don't make your platform your platform because it is what the organization wants but make it a platform of a cause that you are very that you care about very much be honest be yourself if there's something that pageants love is people who are themselves all the time and i will tell you your coach can tell when you are not being authentic and it brings you down a quarter and a half so the only way you are going to help yourself is by being authentic being somebody else or being the next sarah is not going to help you because by the time you're reaching top six you're lost somewhere and you will get lost my sister be authentic that's the word number one number we are yeah but be realistic be realistic when you get into a pageant don't dream that you're queen already you need to be realistic around your competition and around everything you're doing you are going to bring yourself down a quarter and a half and you might just end up withdrawing because you messed it up for yourself so if you know that one thing isn't possible or the other is check that with yourself and make sure you know that it is possible and it is impossible quite right we must say that the sky is the limit but there are certain things that you must know that okay my sister here yeah, i must step back being realistic doesn't hurt it doesn't hurt you and what doesn't kill you makes you stronger it makes you stronger so always be realistic as much as you are authentic those two they go together like this the next thing i'm going to say is the toughest thing i, I ever had to come across it was a decision of thinking sad. it was thoughts on and thoughts off but i will tell you withdraw when you need to people are going to come and tell me <laughs> yes i am saying this because i withdrew from a pageant and i will tell you if a pageant doesn't doesn't follow your values 
doesn't follow your morals, it doesn't mark up with what you want, you are not comfortable. <gasps> Withdraw. I will remind you, a pageant is a major investment. You don't want to end up being crowned queen and then regretting. That's going to be like 800,000 kacha in the sink, in water. It's a difficult decision to make, but if you feel like you need to withdraw, it's the best decision you would ever make for yourself. It's like self-care. Of course, the rainy days will come. It will be three days of being rainy because you really wanted to do that pageant, but you were disappointed. But withdraw when you need to. I withdrew from the Mistina because I'm your for a few reasons. And I'm fine. It was rainy days when making the thought or the decision. But I'm fine. And there's many pageants. There's many more pageants. Our second runner-up is have fun. Always have fun. And um, as much as you want to be serious and head for the end of the tunnel, the light of the tunnel, sometimes you don't make it to the end of the tunnel and you're going to need memories to live by. You honestly don't want to live by miserable memories. That's not what you want. So have as much fun. The more you have fun, the more authentic you'll be, the more realistic you'll be, the more things make sense to you. It just becomes easy for you when you're having fun. First runner-up is always be kind. I will tell you this, if you cannot be kind to you, coach, your director, your fellow beauty queens, you will not be kind to the cause that you are standing for. So, um, it's a little bit harsh, but my sister, if you can't be kind, simply take two steps back and leave pageants to those that actually have the heart for it. If you want a crown, go buy one. Otherwise, a title comes with so much responsibility underground and finally our winner for this list or guides to my girlies is always learn a pageant will teach you one thing and the next one will teach you one thing and the best advice I will give you is collect all of that and put it in one jar it is totally beneficial at the end of the day and you become a better queen each and every day those were 10 tips 10 tips in my guide i hope you enjoyed this video my loves don't forget to like subscribe and share and tell me more ask me for more advice if you've got a question on anything that i haven't mentioned or something you'd like to highlight feel free to mention that in my comments or you can go to my Instagram, my Facebook, or my TikTok, send me a message and I will reply. I hope you have an amazing pageant journey, all the best, and I love all of you.